She doesn't always come. You know when she's left, though. The parents are screaming. You hear ambulance sirens. If they can afford an ambulance, and the water lapping against the pools. My older brother got lucky. He was trying to swim in a pool without a cover or a fence, but my family saw him in time because of his hair. Hair floating in the water. That was how they found him. I wasn't born yet, but after I heard the tale, I didn't swim for a year. She haunted my nightmares of flooding houses until the hurricanes happened and those nightmares <laughs> haunted me instead. It's been 30 years since then and the numbers increase. Our city is weird, but not murderous in that way. You might die in a car accident or from the stress of a daily commute. She may be getting more restless. I got a lead a few years ago. One of the Chamber of Commerce members said that his son drowned at a birthday party. The house was close to mine and I took an evening stroll. While I could not go into the house or the pool, a gleam caught my eye. There was a fabric in the grass, a beautiful flowing silk. I knew that no one would have worn it at a pool party, for the silk would have gotten ruined. It was soft to the touch, and I realized it was a robe. It came with the compulsion to wear it. When I did, the silk vanished. One sleeve in, and I could feel it. And I wanted to go in the water with this skin. Skin for wearing, like a selkie. Selkies in the myth wear fur coats to become seals. No seals down here, and it's too hot for fur. So silk would have to do. She returned to my nightmares. Give it back. She demanded. Give me back my skin. That's how the stories go. You take the skin, you own the selkie. But I didn't own her. I started swimming in pools, wearing the silk. It was a taunt. Come to me. Without her skin, she could not transform. She would have to face me in the water as she was. You will see if she will come this time. I stared at the webbing that grows between my fingers. That hunger. Truth be told, I don't like kids that much. They always seem like an expectation, rather than a new life. You get older, you marry someone, and then you squeeze out children. Two hours to sleep a night, and those constant demands. Come to me. Here she comes. Wish me luck. Thank you.